Oh dear. Welcome back, everybody. This is Cups. Continuing uh, The Wolf Among Us. When we last left our hero. That didn't happen. Not time to do that. Or maybe I do. Fable Town. Oh, looks like I can't walk. Alrighty then. Yeah, when we last left, uh. Sex worker shoved an axe into the woodsman's skull and he didn't die, so that's promising. So it's on this luxury apartment. Wish they wouldn't advertise that. Oh. Dummies. Okay, looks like I just go straight through. Let us enter the gate. Really, uh, glad to be back. That's all I'm saying. Playing this game again. Sometimes be a disciplinarian. Cha cha cha. Uh, the first episode, or I guess I'm still on the first episode, but. <laughs> There's no walking on the grass, no white's orders. You made a sign and everything. <laughs> so deal I'm with sure it. I'm sure to send her an apology. Beauty. Hello, Big B. I wasn't expecting anyone. I know this looks a little odd, but there's an explanation. I swear. Why'd you hide when I walked up? Well, I didn't know who it was. Can't be too careful these days. No, can't. Damn it, I'm late. Well, that was awkward. Please, Big B. Promise me you won't tell Beast you saw me. He worries too much as it is, and it would just make my life a lot easier. Sure. You promise? I promise. Thank you, Big B. I'll explain it all to you later. I will, but I have to go. Well, this is just adorable. Thank you for trusting me. Really, I I appreciate it, Big B. My, uh, my strategy for this playthrough is to be really, really nice to everybody. Except the woodsman. I don't think I can really apologize for that, so... He's kind of a dick anyway. Thinks just because he has a beard and a flannel shirt, he can go around swinging axes into people and beating up women. No siree. That's a good guard. I'm gonna poke stuff that I shouldn't be poking. Hey, you wink? Or I'll just, uh... Hmm, probably for the best. Yeah. Stare at him. I'm just gonna stare longingly at him. Yes, sleep. <laughs> Sorry. That is a suit of armor indeed. Oh, geez, does this guy. Yeah, man. Take a care of the suit of armor. Whew, dusty. This guy's really out. Take some friggin' roofies. Been a while since I got any mail. Well, let's open her up. Seventh day in a row. Ouch. It's okay, I don't get any mail either. I'm always looking. Always disappointed. I don't exist. Well, that's good, I guess. Maybe? I don't know. Maybe that's why I don't get any mail? Kind of makes sense, doesn't it? <sighs> really slam that button. Bet someone's gonna be in the elevator. Make it out. Up. Oh. <sighs> Got my hopes up. 
Bigby, hey, wait up. Have you seen my wife? Have you seen Beauty? Nope, haven't seen her. Oh, okay. Sorry to bother you. Oops, I'm a liar. It. Something's going on. But I did tell her I wouldn't lie. I did make a promise. I can't really go back on my promise. I don't like lying to people, guys. Nothing good ever comes out of it, and that's gonna come to bite me in the end, I think. But, and he's like beast. I'm a wolf man. So it's like, he's like my brother, and I feel like, you know? Gotta do what you gotta do. <laughs> I always thought it was Bigsby. I didn't think it was Big B. Some of the stuff in this game just looks so weird, like that water. I don't know, the comic style, it's crazy. I like the art style though, it's really nice. <sighs> what a night. True that. What is this? What is this? Refrigerator? Let's go for the freezer. I'm all about frozen goods. Ice cream maybe? Or some ice cubes. Damn it, no ice cubes. What am I gonna eat tonight? The fridge, Why beer, and ketchup. Should have got a smaller one. Oh, is that ketchup? Kinda looks like ketchup. That's so weird. Or not ketchup, but beer? I know it was a bottle of ketchup, but what was the boxes? Besides disappointment. Oh, there we go. Don't even Leftover Chinese. Probably a bad sign. I'd eat it. I would eat it. I mean, why not? It's Chinese food. It's probably old anyway when they make it. At least this still works. Okie dokie then. Let's turn the fan on. Should help. Weird. Oh, hello there. That's not what I was expecting. We're gonna come back to that. <laughs> Check out the blue beard folder. Blue it's beard a folder spot. of beards that are blue. Never trust this guy. Oh, he's got a blue beard. Why would you? It's all sorts of crazy. All right, let's uh take a look at the pig. <sighs> Not again. Better get your uh. Oh, hey, Big B. I'm in your chair, huh? I'm tired, Colin. It's been a long day. See one of the three little pigs? Got a smoke? <laughs> Thanks. A couple thousand more of these. We'll be even on that house you owe me. Snap. This has got to stop. You can't keep sneaking off the farm like this. The fresh air and sunshine pitch they sell you on is bullshit. I didn't escape out of the homelands to end up in some prison, okay? Don't send me back there, Bigby. You don't know what it's like, okay? You haven't been there. Calm down. I'm not sending you back. That for me? Nope. The house didn't <laughs> blow itself down, Bigby. That's all I'm saying. Do with that what you will. Now, I'm not saying it's reason enough for me to have definitely been offered a drink, but, uh... It would have helped ease some of the pain you once caused me, yes. It also would have shown everyone how different you are now. 
that was all you were saying, I'd be able to get some rest. I take it all back. This is why everyone hates you. It wasn't murder. I was hungry. Yeah, well, I'm hungry now. You don't see me tearing the flesh off of your bones. But you would, if you could. Probably. <laughs> but, uh, no. Um, hate's the wrong word. They fear you more than anything. You ate a lot of people back in your day. I thought we were all supposed to have a fresh start here. I can't change the past. Well, you can't change people's memories, either. True that. Look, I'm not saying it's fair, but it's real. People are scared of you. I mean, look at your hands. Who'd you get in a fight with? A fable, right? I'm sure you're not going around punching Mondays. I was doing my job, believe it or not. Your job is to beat the shit out of fables? <laughs> Sometimes I take them to the farm. Fuck you. Ouch. I didn't choose to say that. You think my job is easy? You try keeping a bunch of fables from killing each other. How do you think this all works? I don't know. How? By being big and being bad. By being big and being bad. Don't say that shit in front of people. It's embarrassing. That's the attitude that gets you in trouble. I'm sure you were shitty to everyone you came across tonight. Mm, not everyone. Name one. <sighs> oh, yeah? Yeah. I told her I'd lie for her. Right. Yeah. That's real <laughs> nice. Yeah, that wasn't really nice. Life is easier with friends, Bigby. And we live a long fucking time. I know you like this whole lone wolf thing you got going for yourself. But I've seen the way you look at snow, okay? You're not fooling me. Will you shut up? Well, maybe if my throat wasn't so parched, I wouldn't have to keep talking. <laughs> Wait, that doesn't make sense. Just give sense. me a drink, please. <laughs> Alan, enough already. I haven't slept in two days. I went out a second story window and... I want to get in two seconds of shut-eye before I... Look, if I give you this, will you let me sleep? Yeah, yeah, all right. Probably. Thanks, Big B. See, I'm not a bad guy. Just because you're a bad guy does not mean you are a bad guy. <laughs> Borrowed that one from a movie. Oh, the lady is supposed to come by. That's probably who it is. Or it's the uh, woodsman and he's going to blow my house down. That would be ironic. Big B! Snow? Come with me. Snow. Snow! What? Sorry, I'm... What is it? Just... Uh, slow down. No, keep up. We need to... Hi. Hello. Good morning. Or... evening. <laughs> Yeah. These walls are paper thin. We need to be careful. We'll talk outside. Well, this is uh, progressing to places that I'm. sure about snow white beauty the beast one of the pigs from the farm or the three little pigs where are the other two i wonder are they eaten
trophy time. What is that? It's a coat. Oh, the guy is dead. Maybe. This girl is, she's not a Mundy, right? Who was she? I thought I knew everyone in Fable Town. She looks familiar. A working girl? A working girl? I don't, I mean, I'm a working, oh. stepped in and he threatened to kill us both no you don't think he I don't think anything yet just give me a second it's just terrible so who found her I did she was just like this I didn't touch her I grabbed Grimble's jacket to cover her with then I came to get you right away no one else was with you no. Big Snap. Did one of us do this? There hasn't been a murder in Fable Town in a long time. All the more reason we shouldn't start a panic before we know what's going on. I'll have a look around. We don't have much time before people will be coming through here. God, man. That girl was cool, too. She was trying to get by. Head, man. We'll be touching heads. I saw something in her mouth earlier. What is? Fucking take it then. Oof. That's a little weird. It's her ribbon. There's some kind of symbol here. Huh. I, I don't recognize it. Neither do I. God, what did this to her? What could do something like that? Either something very sharp or something with magic attached to it. She was placed here with some care. What do you mean? You can see that someone didn't just toss her here. She was deliberately placed for us to find. What kind of monster would do this? I'm sorry. This is just so surreal. <sighs> um, what... what do you want to do next? Uh, I saw some blood. Some time. I should keep investigating the area. Okay, good idea. I definitely saw some blood over here. Blood. Drops of blood. I'd say it's been here an hour, maybe? Fabric. Looks like jeans. Doesn't tell me much. Some loose trash. Yep, more blood. Where's blood now? Someone on? might have hopped the fence, got caught, then left the trail I found earlier. 
blood. Still wet. Sharp enough. So, that didn't really help me a whole lot. But, uh, somebody with jeans. I guess. Tore their pants on that fence. And, yeah. Hurt themselves. Pretty badly. What are you doing? Better to be thorough. Sure, just hurry up. We don't have much time. We should move her before anyone shows up. We'll find out more at the business office. She'll be in the books. I'm sure of it. Big P, do you have any idea what's going on? How did this happen? Why her? This is a message. A message? I don't know, Bigby. I get complaints at the office all the time, but... Just what about this makes you think that? The victim. She could be a symbol for something. It's not what I meant to say, but my... I was drinking. I had to push the I'm button fast. Have to tell Crane about this. As long as King Cole is gone, he's acting mayor. He needs to know. And he's going to find out anyway, so we may as well get out in front of it. It'll just be worse if he finds out we held it from him. I know you don't like him, but he's our boss. This is part of the job. I guess it's useless to drag it out. That's how I feel too. I'm sure he won't be happy, but it's just part of the process. Hopefully he can be rational about it. I wouldn't hold my breath. <sighs> I'm not. I just don't want him interfering. Crane's not what's important right now. We need to figure out who this girl was so we can find whoever did this. Take this back to Dr. Swinehart. He can take a look at it. I'll meet you at the business Swinehart. Office. I bet he's a pig. With a heart of gold. Man, I was really hoping there'd be more of that character, too. I like the character. I like Mr. Toad. I hope I get to see more of Mr. Toad also, because he was a really fun character. But, gosh, she was a badass. She put an axe into someone's head and was just like, whatever. Fuck. What do these assholes want? What, are you blind? What, you don't see there's a line? I've been standing here a half hour already. You get to just walk in? Must be nice being the sheriff. Do whatever the fuck you like. I work here. And what great work you do, Sheriff. Hmm, that didn't feel very genuine. Fucker. Accuse me of impropriety. Yes, I see. I, I... You, because you are the one bringing this to me, Miss Snow. The one who so simply stumbled upon this catastrophe on our very doorstep. The last thing I need with Mayor Cole away is a hysteria. Do you understand me? Yes, of course I Don't do. Don't interrupt me, Miss Snow! You asked me a question. Don't change the subject. You are to blame for this unpleasantness, Miss Snow. I brought you this news as soon as I could. You are trusted to keep things running smoothly around here. This is a disaster. If anyone's to blame, it's me. You don't need to be yelling at her. Oh, your role in this is duly noted. Yes, let's talk about that. Sheriff, you are the one charged with protecting the citizens of Fable Town. Your failure to do so cost someone their life and the safety of the entire community. Tell me you've been be doing crane. something. Are there any leads? Suspects? Anything. Anything at all. Oh, this any so shred cool. of evidence you two know what the hell you're doing. Because right now, I have half a mind to fire the both of you. I got nothing. Bluebeard came to mind. It's his M.O. It's shaky, but... Don't be absurd. Bluebeard is out of the country as we speak. So don't even think about accusing him of such a treacherous affair. If all you're operating off of I was going to say Bluebeard, I don't know anything we're all about in him. Much more trouble than I imagined. You two need to get a handle on this situation quickly and quietly. 
The last thing we need is all of Fable Town knowing there's a killer amongst us. Snow. Yes? Sir? Call Vivian right this minute and let her know I'm coming in early for my massage. I will. Where is the bottle of wine you were to purchase? Don't bother. Forget it. Can't do anything right. Do your job, Sheriff. Or we'll find someone who can. You know what? Stop. We'll get on it right away, sir. <laughs> you would have just pissed him off more. Yeah, that's what I wanted to do. Well, that could have gone better. Well, maybe we should have dragged it out. For what it's worth, I still think it was better to tell him. Yeah, maybe. Oh, Crane doesn't like people smoking and... Never mind. Smoke away. Wine to a massage? Probably a gift. The weird part of that is that he's actually being nice to someone. I know I bought that damn bottle. Is... is he gone? Yes, thankfully. Buffkin! Hello, Miss Snow. Drinking? This early? Where did you get that? It was by Mr. Rickabod's desk. Then don't you think it probably belongs to him? Maybe. <laughs> Fucking monkeys. God, I hate monkeys. Bunch of assholes. Look at his eyes. They're so today, soulless. Soulless monkey. Fine, Buffkin. Thanks for asking. Buffkin, get the books. Which books? The ones with all the fables in it. Not sure that was any more specific. Bring the first three. Be back in a few minutes. <sighs> I'll be nice he to the monkey the for now. There's bound to be information on her here. Somewhere. We'll at least be able to get her real name from the books whenever Buff can find them. In the meantime, poke around. Maybe the mirror can help. Fuck I really mirrors. Have to get this appointment squared away, but let me know if you need anything. Hello, Vivian? Hi. Mirrors. We're going to the mirrors later, uh, if possible. Yes, I'm just calling to let you know that, uh, Mr. Massages. Ichabod Crane is a dick. Ruin Christmas for everybody. I thought he's supposed to have, like, a heart now or something. Not be an asshole. No, we got your answer. Ichabod Crane, you know, yes. Christmas stories. Um, I'm all about magic lamps. Let's do that. Magic lamps are pretty much just lamps after the genie's been freed. We'll rub it. I'll rub it anyway. Give it the old rubber rooney. Rub it up dub. It's a try. Well, that's not what I have here. Alright, we'll talk to the fucking mirror. Ugh, oh, look at me. Shave, you asshole. Hey, Magic Mirror, I got a question. You know the rule. I don't have time for this shit. Your impatience is callow. You're needlessly cruel, but have some respect for our history and rules. Fucking asshole. Mirror, mirror. Uh, if you're able, tell me all about this fable. See? Was that so hard? Yeah, I'm about two seconds away from kicking a hole in you. There's no need for that. Fine. Of which fable do you wish to know? That is a good question. I don't know her name. Not yet, anyway. Well, until you do, I can't help you. And tell me about that, a woodsman. Show eh? me the woodsman. Where is he? What you see is complete. The woodsman stumbles down a street. No shit. Which street? I'm sorry, Bigby. I can only show you what can be seen. 
Show me Snow White. Not much of a request. She's in this very room. Show me the woodsman. Show me Buffkin. Hey, put down the bottle and get to work. Still looking. <laughs> what a fucking, what a monkey. What a buffoon, that Buffkin. Buffkin the buffoon. What's his name? Flying monkeys, they're all trouble. Nobody right now. Very well, please return should you wish to ask about someone else. Or someone new. It. Ah, oh, what a buffoon. Well, I'm sure we'll get it all cleared up. Okay. Thank you. We're really going long here, so uh, after this little bit, I think we're going to take a quick commercial break, folks. <laughs> wonder if I can actually just pause right here. All right. Uh, that's a pause. If nothing else. I'll see you guys in the next video.